Hello and welcome to Arch Effects. So today in this video, we are going to create this beautiful text animation in After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So we'll start by creating a new composition. Now the next step is to add text to our composition. So I'll type Arch Effects. And I will change the font to something a lot bolder. I'll select bowl by one. Okay. Now uh, I'll increase the font size to 120. And now I'll just align the text to the center of the screen like so. Okay. Now the next step is to uh, make sure that the anchor point uh, this anchor point it is at the bottom of the text so it is at the bottom of the text so just position it at the bottom of the text okay now we will animate our text layer we'll uh, bring up the scale by pressing s and then we will add a keyframe now i uh, will disable the link and move the indicator over to 15th frame and then change this from 100 to 0 so we get this kind of animation now the next step is to crop our text uh, so we'll click here and we will select our text only now we'll go into the composition and select crop composition to region of interest once we do this we are going to go inside the layer and select a new solid layer now uh, we'll add effect to this search gradient ramp and add gradient ramp to our background now move uh, these handles like so And then we will again search for another effect that is time displacement. Drag it over to the text layer. Now the uh, next step is to change this to our uh, background. The time displacement layer, change it to the background and then source to effects and mask. Now I'll change the maximum displacement time to 0.5. Now uh, here you can see the effect is not that smooth. In order to smooth this, we will be changing the time resolution from 60 to 150. Okay, so now you can see it is a lot smoother. Now this is the kind of animation we get. So now we'll select both these keyframes and move them over to the 15th frame or until the text becomes whole again. At the 15th frame, it has become whole again. Now we'll select uh, again, select both the keyframes and press F9 to add easy. E. So now our animation is complete. Okay. So there we go. So now uh, we can disable our background and then we will. Uh, then we'll select both these layers and pre-compose them. Okay, now we are done with this. We'll create one more composition and repeat the same process. We'll create another text that is arch effect. And let me align this. Now we'll change the color to something different. So I'll be selecting this color. Okay. So uh, now what we are going to do is here we are going to change the anchor point position from bottom to the top. So here move it to the top. Like so. Now we'll animate our text. We'll bring up the scale and then add a keyframe. 
I will disable the link. Now at the beginning of the timeline, we'll change this to zero and then we'll move the indicator over to 15th frame and then change this to 100. So we get this kind of animation. Now we are going to repeat the same process. We are going to select our text and crop it. We'll click here and select our text and then go into composition and press crop composition to region of it. Then we'll add a new solid layer. And then we will go into effects and search for gradient ramp. Drag it over to our solid layer and change the handle positions like so. Now again we'll go into effects. Search for time displacement. Drag it over to our text layer. And change this to our solid background and this to effects and mask. In the time to 0.5 and time resolution to 1 now the effect is going upwards so we have this upward effect i'll select both the keyframes move this until the text is completely disappeared okay at 20th frame it is completely disappearing now we select both the keyframes and press f9 in order to enable easy ease. so there you go our animation is complete so this is our second text now we'll uh, just disable this background and then we will select both the layers and pre-compose. There you go. Now we'll create a new composition and I will call it final composition. Now we'll drag both the composition into our final composition and there you go our animation is almost complete so let us spice this up a bit we'll add a solid background and there you see now we will select both these composition and pre-compose them Now we will add a drop shadow to this. I'll just drag the drop shadow over to the pre-composition and then change the distance to 15 and softness to 15. I'll change the direction to 180 degree. So there you go. So it starts looking nice. Now I'll go inside the pre-composition and I'll add a new adjustment layer i'm going to do this to add a bevel alpha effect to the adjustment layer let me zoom this and then i'll change the edge thickness to nine Oops. let's make it slightly lesser uh, okay now i'll change the light angle from minus 60 to plus 60 like so so there you go our animation is complete so let me go back to the final composition and just play it out for you So guys hope you liked this video if you did like the video please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel until the next video have a good day